Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion video. And in this video, we're going to talk about what you can use houses for. So I, I did one with horses. Um, horses are pretty freaking useless. But now we're going to get on to houses. And I have some interesting opinions about houses. And generally, you know, I think it's ex I think it's known by most people that if you buy a house, you have a bed and you can sleep in it, right? Now, that, that's a given, which if you just use a house for that, it's a horrible investment because you only need to sleep at most, I think like 50 times to level up. And the most expensive you can get that cost to be is 2,000 gold. So you really don't need a house for just a bed. Now, what you can use a house for is storing all of your crap. You know, you buy some boxes, you buy this, you buy that, you store your stuff in your house right? What I like to use houses for is decorating them with stuff that I, I like to keep like the goblin staves or quest items that I get or anything like that. I like to keep that kind of stuff because it's cool, right? Just because it's cool. Now, you can also use houses as a safe place to level up athletics. You know, the old rubber band trick. I mean, you can just use a town for that, but it's just a house, you know. But the main thing I like to use houses for when it comes to the super highly advanced meta is committing crimes. And you might think, what can you commit crimes for? Well, very simple. Let's say you steal a bunch of stuff and you it's a bunch of alchemical ingredients and you wanna make potions with those. What better way to store it than take it all, yeah, the guard's gonna get pissed at you, but you go in your house and you drop everything. You drop everything or you store everything, right? That, that You could do that and it'll be fine. And then you, you can just pay your 40 bounty and then get arrested. Then you're good. You can make all your potions. Also, houses are great if you want to be a murderer. Because what you can do is, let's say there's like someone you want to kill. Like a store owner. You smack them. You make them chase you into your house. You yield. And then you kill them. Because guards, I think guards don't like going in your house... If they do, it's, I mean, it's fine because then the body is going to be in your house and you can take stuff off the body. All right. So houses, basically what houses are come down to is safe places if you suck at stealing or suck at murdering. That's what houses really are for. They're not for the civilized, normal human. No, they're for criminals. They are 100% more useful for criminals than the honest person in Oblivion. It's just the way that houses are. It's the way that the house meta is. I don't know why there's a house meta, but there is one. And of course, you know, you get to flex your wealth and all that. Oh, I own the five million houses. I own the coral house. I own the shade and all house. Da, 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 da. You know, so that's really what houses are used for in Oblivion. Storing things, sleeping, and committing crimes. If you enjoyed this video, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you are new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make.